now we can go and check if there has been a change made and if I go in the testing we should see something some changes made footer edit button okay so the new branch has some changes right but it's still not merged to the main branch right so we need to make sure that this thing is merged to the main branch so the next thing will be about that okay so let's move on to the next part where i will want to merge the branch or not merge the branch for example let me check which branch i am currently on it's new now note that if you're going to make any new changes with the existing branch you need to pull the new changes made by other developers at this point of time i want to create new to another branch which won't be existing here just for the demo all right so what i'll do is i will switch i'll create a new branch i'll check if this is created and then i'll check out and switch to that new branch in this i'm going to create another folder basically a file but i want to name it as another folder and i'm going to save it with some content etc close it now check the status we need to add this to stage add everything git commit with a message test done now you can check the status it's there but at this point there is not no any branch called new to as of now because i have not pushed any changes okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna push this let's see now when i'm attempting to do that it says you know what you're trying to push a branch but to main uh, that's not really possible or either i have to merge it and then push or i have to create if i want to create a new branch and keep working on that and then push the main branch itself or the main or the push the actual branch that i'm working on i need to set this branch as of now as an upstream basically a branch where i want to monitor that's what the upstream is for so i'm gonna put git push u so instead of set upstream you can also put u origin from the original new to and at this point you should be able to see something like this so new to has a recent push less than a minute ago now go to pull request and it shows able to merge write your comments did something and create pull request that's all okay so your changes which i've recently created should be here in the branch so i'm gonna switch to this new to branch and it will show you new files also that i've created another folder.txt okay so this is about your uh, pushing the branch now what i want to do is i want to merge it first and then maybe merge it to the main branch so that the changes should reflect in the main branch so i'm going to add something like let's see good branch and i'm going to switch to main because i want to add or merge this branch to the main i would switch to that particular branch so that's the reason why i switched to main so now i will do something like get merge and new to because you may not know which branch to merge basically so you can specify 
and there you go create mode another folder and these are the things that are changing now you can just push good git push and it's rejected again you need to try git pull there you go every changes have been pulled because some developer did the changes now you can just git push at this point of time you should see your changes in the main there you go so that's your another folder.txt okay so uh, if you have any doubt please feel free to write and uh, let me know also one more thing that i have added some faqs for you guys in this presentation in the last if you scroll i'm gonna send this link to the team so you can see there are some faqs that usually you do google search but i've invested that time for you guys so you can find the most common one here for the other ones uh, it's your uh, individual doubts so it's subjective so you can search that on google as well or if you find something still not still not uh, comfortable you're not and you're feeling confusing uh, in some concepts please feel free to write me and you can see the concept that i've just talked about in this video why set upstream grid it's already there someone has someone generously have answered this question and this too and then what is origin in git in general uh, you set upstream basically to tell that you need to monitor this specific branch you set origin to make them sure or tell them that this is the main original source of this repository and then finally third thing was remote because you're using a remote server that's the reason why you use remote all the time in git pushes etc git remote add and etc and you can see this is your origin where you can fetch and this is your where you can to push now this is also there is also possibility that your fetch could be your branch your main repository where you actually the forked repository and uh, sorry uh, the fetch could be your uh, your repository that you have forked from someone else and the push could be maybe um, could be the forked repository the main repository or vice versa so in the next video that i'll share with you will be about what if i try to fork from others repository to my repository and then make changes in my repository and create pull request into the remote repository or someone else's repository thank you everyone